Yo, hello everyone. In these days, social media integration is key to building your presence online. In this video, I will show you how to seamlessly link your social media profiles to your Wix website in 2023. Strengthen your online presence and engage with your audiences more effectively. So let's get started. So guys, before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you get the full information. So first of all guys, we need to go ahead and open Wix. How to do so? Simply by going to www.wix.com. As you can see, this is the official website of Wix. Here I'm going to click on login and they will take me to this page. Here I'm going to continue with Gmail, Facebook or Apple. So I'm going to choose Gmail and then choose whatever email I want to use for this specific account. And here we go. So now we have connected to Wix in a second. And here are my websites. For those who doesn't own one already, you can simply head up to this menu and click on create new site. For me now, I'm going to skip this, uh, this step because I have already made a video about how to create a website on Wix. So make sure to check that video later on. Now, for these who are interested and have already uh, like their website ready to go and want to link their social media, here is the way to do so. So first of all, this is the website that I am having and this is how it looks like. And here in this section, we have the section where there is the about us, like the email, the phone number, the location, and finally follow us on social media as in Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And of course, there is this widget which follows you during the whole website that shows you the Facebook, Twitter and YouTube icons. Now let's click on them and check which uh, website is going to actually open. So here they have took me to Wix uh, YouTube channel, here they took me to the Twitter of Wix and finally here they will take me to the twi uh, to Facebook page of Wix. So in this specific moment you have noticed that everything is not really redirecting your audience to your pages they are actually taking them to the works pages so what should we do to edit it click first on the website that you are going to edit and click on it and edit it from there so now here if you went to it you can click here and choose whatever website and finally once you are on the dashboard click on edit site right through here. Now they will take you to the page builder of Wix and you will be able here to adjust, change and do whatever you want on your website. So let's wait for it until it is fully loaded and then by the end you will be able to change everything. So now here we are going to start with this uh, contact bar which is social bar I'm going to click on it here as you can see and finally by clicking on the right click you can here change the design add animations uh, do whatever you'd like as you can see here you can even delete it and do whatever you want to do here you have the overlapping items pages etc and everything you want to do so let's click for example on them three times so here after double clicking on these icons you will notice that there is these three icons over here and this window has been opened and finally here you can adjust lottery everything in case you'd like to add more social links to this bar you can simply just click on add icons through this button and finally now if I clicked they will take me to the media from Wix so here as an example I can add discord link so add to gallery and this will be added into there as well so here I can add the link for my discord server so let's try here and click on done and as you can see discord has been added to this left bar over here so now we have added the discord but still we didn't edit the links so what shall we do here, as you noticed, there is the title 
and there is what social page does this icon link to so now as if discord it doesn't link to anywhere but for facebook and twitter and youtube they are all linking me to the same page which is the official page of wix so now we have to work on it and change everything to match our own social media pages as an example here i will add an icon and i'm going to add instagram here it is and i will add it to the gallery I have here a page that I have created before. I'm going to copy the link, add the link here, and I will click on done. So before you click on done, in case you'd like to add like more details, you can through here add some advanced SEO settings to make your ranking during the search engine very, very high and better. So it is up to you to go through these settings. Otherwise, here if you have like something else with, besides the web address, you can change it into uh, like another thing. For example, if they click on this icon, they will take them to another page from your own website. So here they are all the pages. Here we said the web address, so, so it can be whatever page. It doesn't really have to be like Instagram linking you to Instagram. It can be Instagram linking you to simply Google. It is, yeah, it is just as simple as that. But this is just like to be organized and professional. Of course, everything has to link to its own meaning icon. So here I'm going to paste this here. If you wanted to open in a new window, you can click here. If you wanted to stay and open on the current window, you can choose this option. But uh, generally, you want the people to actually open your social media on the second window or in a new window. So your website is still opened for them so they can come back into it. If they want your social media, they can simply just forget about your website, your content, and just go and scroll through your page and then go into reels, into the like stories, etc. So let's keep it like that and click on done. Here I'm going to click on done again and here it is, it has been added to this page. So let me refresh this uh, page real quick and these uh, things are not really now um, changed. Why? Because we didn't publish these changes uh, for now. So what we should do is click on publish button on this right top corner. So here we go and it shall be doing the work for us so now if i went here refresh the page it will change everything for us so let's give it some time and as you can see here they are now if i clicked on instagram they shall take me to my uh, account that i have created so here it is and here it is as well so we have now added instagram page successfully the same goes for facebook Twitter, YouTube, you have to do the same thing for all of your social links that exist on your page. So here they are the social links that I have, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Here there are another ones. I have to change everything. Make sure guys to go and scroll through your website and to locate every social link and change it before you publish it to the public. That can cause you a lot of trouble if you forgot about literally one icon so guys thanks a lot for watching make sure that your links are correct and they are a hundred percent yours and see you guys in the next tutorial